there's nothing left at all. I have to close. Oh, what misery. There's our opium den, Watson. Let's go. Good day, gentlemen. Welcome. What can I do for you? One of your regular clients looked within himself to give us your address. He was very helpful. Oh, I understand. Our clients quickly become regulars. Your friend isn't with you? Sadly, no. He is tied up with his dogs. I understand. I too love dogs. Come in and make yourselves at home. Dirty water. This bowl is used to wash smoking tools. Mm, jasmine tea, judging by the aroma. Poor devils. See, Holmes, the ravages caused by such artificial pleasure. Ashes. It's not very clean here. It's not allowed here. Go on a bit further. Please excuse us, sir. Closed. Well, we have searched everywhere apart from two rooms. One of these rooms interests me particularly. You are thinking of the guarded room, aren't you, Holmes? I am indeed. But we should not consider any confrontation with the guard. Let us be discreet and enter the adjoining room. It's locked, and it wouldn't be very discreet if we were to force it. Nevertheless, we do need to get in there. And the manager? Let us find a way of distracting his attention. A pity I don't understand Chinese. The key to the locked room is here. I must find a means of getting the receptionist out of the way. Dirty water. This bowl is used to wash smoking tools. Mm, jasmine tea, judging by the aroma. Ashes. It's not very clean here. Oh, 
Holmes, you talked about making a client sick, but you were exaggerating. Surely you aren't going to force someone to drink. Another of our differences, my friend. You cure people, I make them sick. What's the matter? Are you ill? Hey, mister! It will be all right. Breathe! The Chinese waiter is busy. We can go. There we are. It is simplicity itself. Watson, put the key back in its place before the manager notices that it's missing. I shall be quick. I managed to return the key without being seen. Perfect. Let's go in. It is impossible to get out. This small opening gives onto the guarded room. Holmes, shh, listen. Yeah, but that's different. I don't mind getting money for killing, but he was a sort of pope or something. And we didn't even get... Yeah, I oh know. I got nice rich man's boots. They must be worth about 20 pounds. But even so, and the boss ain't happy. And when I see him unhappy, I'm afraid. I don't fancy ending up like Kurtz. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. But we'll have a chance to make up for it. We just have to get it right this time. Because he won't forgive us so easily next time. They are the Bishop's murderers, Holmes. The fiends. Calm down, Watson. We'll have to take care of the guard at the entrance. I think we should be able to find something in this place that would put an elephant to sleep. Very good. But then what? Then we take care of those two devils. Phew! What a stick! This bottle is full of barbiturate acid. We use it in medicine sometimes as a tranquilizer. A syringe that could be useful. I need something. I need something. I need something. This stick will serve as a weapon, or for something else. This bill hook is very thin and solid.
small balls of opium. I'll take a spoonful. Holmes, do you really think that this is the appropriate moment? Don't worry, Watson. My mind only requires stimulation when it is unoccupied. That is not the case at the moment. I am merely heating these opium balls to obtain a liquid solution. You have a potentially very powerful sedative there, Holmes. Be careful, such a dose could be lethal. This door shouldn't be open! Let's hide, Holmes. This place isn't very favorable for that. I hate the idea, but we will have to rely on luck. There! It's locked! <sighs> We've been locked in! It is impossible to get out. I think that window is large enough for us to squeeze through. This window is well and truly stuck. We'll have to pull it free. <coughs> I think that window is large enough for us to squeeze through. This window is well and truly... It's open, but this window is damnably heavy. We need something to keep it wedged open. Good. We can get out of here. After you, my dear fellow. Very well, Holmes. Finish making your sedative, Holmes, quickly. It's time to take action, Watson. Go and distract the brute guarding the door. What? Why don't you do it yourself? You're an expert boxer, after all. It's not a matter of fighting. It's a matter of luring him to me. Ah, I see. I imagine that the sedative is for him. Well deduced, Watson. <laughs> do something to bring the guard towards me. Good luck, Watson. Uh, sir, would you be so good as to come here? No, not that way. We must take them by surprise. Let's get to the corridor by these stairs, Holmes. What are you doing? No! Stop! 
Put your hands up! Don't try anything clever! You're under arrest. Take them away. So be it. Come, Watson. Let us go. But why have we come back to Baker Street? It would have been better to join Baines to interrogate those criminals. No, in the hands of the police, those crooks won't talk and you know it. They risk being hanged. I don't understand anything here. We must explore all our leads. Let us take a look at the map of London. We have arrived. The bishop's nephew lives here? Yes, he rents a ground floor room. Can I help you, gentlemen? How do you do, madam? We should like to see one of your lodgers, Henry Hampford. Well, he's away. And you must understand, I don't open my door to strangers, especially with all these prowlers about. That is the reason for our visit. You're the police. No, Henry is a friend of ours. He expressed his concern to us about these intruders. We're here at his request. I'm not surprised. Mr. Henry, while he might seem strange at first, is a thoughtful and kind man. He must have noticed how worried I've been. Why, just this morning some of my washing was stolen, and I'm sure it was those ones who took it. It seems like the best place to start our investigation. May we step into your garden? and then perhaps look into our friend's room. I don't see anything wrong with your looking over the garden, but his room... You understand? He didn't warn me. I understand. What should we do next, Holmes? Let's have a look in the garden. Closed. Closed. Without a doubt, it is the linen belonging to Henry's landlady. Indeed, there appears to be some linen missing. This window overlooks the room belonging to the nephew of the Bishop of Knightsbridge. There should be a spade here. A small pickaxe. There should be a spade here. A rake. Why take it, Holmes? Tins of food tied to one another. The wire seems long enough. They look to me as though they are rudimentary traps used to indicate the presence of intruders. Oh, what a jumble. There is something interesting here.
Good, we can pause. The remains of a small meal. Someone has stayed here rather a long time. This newspaper is four days old. The bishop's nephew was being watched long before his uncle's murder. Nothing of interest here. It is obviously the clothing stolen from the landlady. We must return it. This clothing is torn. The man who stole it must have caught it on a tree when he stood upon the fence. And at the moment when he jumped, he left this jacket in the tree. It is just as I thought. Here's an ideal view of Henry's room. Is this the washing you were looking for? Oh yes, that's it. Where did you find it? On the ground. Doubtless blown there by the wind. They didn't steal it then. I'd have felt better knowing that those lurkers were nothing more than clothes thieves. That is not the case, madam. This affair seems to be rather more serious than that. It appears that these intruders were spying on Henry. Now please, let us see his room. Gracious me, whatever next. Come in. Take the first door on the left. It's open. He never locks it. Never? No, never. Well, you know him. He doesn't do things like everyone else. He lives in a world of his own. When did you see him last? Did he say anything to you? Yesterday morning. He just muttered a few words. I can't always understand what he's saying. When he does talk, that is. I can ask him a question, but he just stares off somewhere. The floor, the ceiling. As if I wasn't there. At first I found it strange, but I've gotten used to it. Yes, I know exactly what you mean. He's sometimes nervous too, isn't he? Oh yes, as soon as anything upsets him. Even when he's alone in his room he gets cross. And then the next second he is standing stock still. He stares off into space and calms down again as fast as he became angry. Someone emptied a bag here. He got his scarf out, but he forgot to take it. No hat, no coat. This rubbish bin was emptied, and then someone threw a torn piece of paper in it, and judging by the smell, there was also an onion. Onion? Let us put these torn pieces of paper on the table.
Both sides of the paper are blank. All this for nothing, Holmes. Perhaps not, Watson. What is this strange installation? This candle is still hot. It's been used recently. During the day? Whatever for? The address of a dock on the Thames. A violin. It is a lovely one, but where's its case? It is an impressive library for someone living alone. And he's read all that. Impressive. There is something interesting here. Box, let's see. He scratched the lock's cipher codes for himself. Watson, write them down for us. It is noted. It is noted. I have noted down everything. This lock is very complex. The young Henry is remarkably intelligent. But according to the label, this box contained a Colt Patterson. It is a powerful weapon, Holmes. And judging by the receipt, it was new. My dear Watson, in the garden and in this room, pieces are missing that should never have left their places. What do you think? Quick, Watson, there's not a moment to lose. Go and thank that charming lady while I try to recapture our new friend. Recapture? What makes you think that he has run away? 
I believe that our man suffers from behavioral problems. You must have seen or heard about those poor fellows who spend their time counting the gravel stones in the garden or moving objects from one place to another hundreds of times in one day. Well, the bishop's nephew suffers from a moderate form of this condition. Nothing would be more disturbing to him than to leave a personal space in such chaos. And yet this is what he has done with this room. For it to reach such a state of neglect can only indicate that he was in a most desperate situation. And do you think that you can catch him? Yes. The candle here is still warm, so he left only a few minutes before our arrival. But it is the missing violin case and the large pistol which concern me. We know that he is quick-tempered and volatile. It is never wise to leave a gun quite capable of killing a bull in the hands of someone like that. Did he leave to go to the address which was written in the invisible ink, do you think? Undoubtedly, Watson. And as for the missing spade, I can tell you that it will be used for digging. Are you ever going to stop delaying me with endless questions? So, gentlemen, have you found anything? We have learned enough to promise you that they will not return. But that makes me feel better. Thank you, gentlemen. We are going to pay a visit to that mysterious address, Watson. But first, we must detour to Lambeth. Lambeth? What are we going to do there? Pick up an old friend. He will be a precious help in our locating Mr. Hampford. Good. And who is this friend? A friend who helped us in the case you so romantically titled The Sign of the Four. Here we are at the address that the nephew took such care to hide. I wonder what it is that links this place with the bishop's murder. The reason for the quarrel between the young man and his uncle is somewhere here in this industrial area. And that is what he has come to look for this evening. It's an enormous area and there are dozens of potential hiding places. How on earth are we going to find him? The old dog Toby is the best sleuth hound in town. If the extraordinary Mr. Hamford is here, Toby will find him without any doubt. But I've rarely seen such an old dog. Do you really trust his sense of smell, Holmes? Absolutely. Besides, you are going to follow him. Take the bark and go around that disused factory. If the nephew wishes to run away, he can do so only through there. If you find him, hold on to him until I rejoin you. Very well. Get ready, Watson. Let the battle commence. Toby's sense of smell is legendary, but he needs to know what he is looking for. Search, Toby. Search. There's a good dog. <laughs> 